Okay, then I will share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Yes, we can. All right. Everybody, uh, today is May 5th. This is Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. On the agenda, I have GSOC Update, She Code Africa, CDCon, DevOps World, and Jenkins Online Meetup. Is there anything else that we need to add? Okay. Um, so first on the agenda, so GSOC update, we are done. We're closed for the reviewing and um, grading period. Uh, all the org admins met and we are working on the ranking at the moment. We think we have most, for the most part, what we need in place to deliver to Google by May 12th. Um, right now, Mark, I'm not sure if you're the person that I can ask about this, but we need to provide pioneer information so that how uh, our compensation will get compensated by Google via the pioneer system. So oh, I need good. that information. Okay, good question. It, so so let's have me take the action at it. Mark to ask CDF how we did it last year. Well, I can do that, Mark. Oh, can you? I'm, I'm okay. already reaching out to them. So yeah, let Great. me. Great. So, so the... it, they, are, they, are the, they are our the keeper of our accounts mm -hmm. and therefore they are the best contact to tell us how do we deposit money in there. That may also be the seed, seed, the answer to that may be the seed that I can use to, to take care of two action items I have related to Jenkins funding in the governance board. So there are two places where I need something similar to that. So if you ask the question, you may also help me when you find the answer. Okay. All right. I will do that. Um, I know that they are at an offsite this week. So I will still send out um, communication to them, but most likely they'll get back to us next week. Just that, FYI. That's great. Thank you for doing that. Uh, yeah. Just Mark add uh, Alyssa as the action mm. owner. Yeah, I do it. Oh, you're. Um, is there anything else that I that you need to add here, Jean-Marc, for no. GSOC? Okay. It's it, it's moving well along, and we're preparing the next phase. So th we're okay with meeting that deadline one week from now. That you and you and Alyssa and Chris are all comfortable that we're gonna we're gonna hit the deadline. Yes. Yeah, Great. we we have we have already our draft mm -hmm. decision filled in. Great. Uh, and we only have a doubt for one project and we're still reflecting on that one to make a decision. Yeah. But uh, we're, we're good and checking uh, that the procedure is well understood, that we didn't forget something. Excellent. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks to both of you and to Chris. You've been absolutely wonderful. Yeah. I, I know that it looks like the Jenkins project is deeply experienced at Google Summer of Code, but this year it was all new org admins. You've been great. Thank you. No problem. Um, she Code Africa. So Mark, I have here, I don't know if there's any update you want to add here. Um, yeah, if, if it's okay, I'll just do a brief status report because I'm, there's some things I'm that make me proud and other things that make me a little bit of flinch. And so mm -hmm. let's, let's take both the hey, here's some points of pride and here's some things that we'll do better next year. So on the, on the points of pride, the, the screenshot update and the inclusive naming projects are working very, very well. The, the, the contributors are actively involved. They're interested, they're contributing and they're, and they're also learning in the process. And so we get both the benefit of them learning things and them contributing at the same time. And, and that's a good hybrid. We like it when it's not just us teaching and we like it when it's not just them contributing without learning something in the process. So we've got this hybrid of contribution and education that is helping them grow. And part of that is because those two projects, screenshot update and inclusive naming were relatively simpler projects. They don't have enormous technical complexity. They do have a lot of learning that was required, 
in order to update a screenshot, you've got to be able to recreate the screen. And recreating the screen means you've got to know yes. enough about Jenkins to get to that place. Mm -hmm. And surprisingly enough, it's not, in many cases, trivial to get to that place. So it's been, that's been the education part for them. Inclusive naming, the same kind of story. Um, there are places where you can make changes and places where you can't. And they've had to learn where it's where it makes sense to make changes and where it doesn't. And that's a learning piece. On the weak side, on the oops, shame side, weak, whatever you want to call it, the pipeline help project has not gone as smoothly. And part of that is because we didn't do as much preparation work this year as we did last year, but we used the same kind of project ideas we had last year. And that was too technically demanding, uh, too likely to fail, and has too many opportunities for problems, right? It's, go ahead, John Mark. No, I'm, I'm very interested by, by that experience. So, um, but maybe we can take it offline because I'd like to record the, uh, the learning uh, uh, of that. So, uh, one lesson learned is that uh, we didn't um, uh, prepare the scope or the tooling or a precise description that we had to, to organize that on the fly. So, so uh, do, do I understand that uh, correctly? Right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of many. And, and these are the, the comments. We had a retrospective on last year's project. And many of the challenges we're seeing here were already included in last year's retrospective. So we will do a retrospective okay. again. It's just, we didn't heed the notes from our I, it's not we, this is not the King Global, this is Mark Waite, did not heed the notes from our previous retrospective where we said, hey, look, this is technically very demanding. And there are opportunities for failure hiding in technically demanding pro projects that a brand new contributor shouldn't be made to submit to that kind of a risk, right? We, we owe it to new right. contributors to give them a better experience. And, and my, my initial, my, one of my mistakes was thinking, oh, it's too easy. There's, there's too, too little learning in these other projects, whereas it turns out screenshot update and inclusive naming have plenty of technical complexity hiding in them uh -huh. Pl plenty and enough for a for a brand new contributor okay so so it's just a matter of those kinds of things right going to ask you pointers on the uh, lessons learned or retrospective of last year i'm interested to 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 read them as a supporting uh, uh material for the gsoc efforts Good idea. Well, and, and I'll put a I'll put a hyperlink to the retrospective into this document. That way, we've got a copy of it because because last but, year's retrospective is there and and it has has many of those those notes in it. So let me go get that. I'll do that while the meeting continues. That way, I can paste it in here in a minute. And that's all that I had on She Code Africa contribute on. Thank you very thank much. You. Um, CD Con. So that is slated for uh, June 9th uh, for the contributor summits that's taking place on site. The agenda for the contributor summit is currently live. It's, um, I posted it on Discourse and then I'm asking CDF to post it on the Austin uh, meetup page as well. So that will be done next week when they are back um, in the office. Okay. I'm ordering some swag for the event. So um, getting some Jenkins socks and stickers. Socks? Yeah, I figured it's lightweight for me to carry. Because socks in June in Texas, well, <laughs> maybe <sticking>. too much. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Okay, good. <laughs> that, well, that's, that's, that's the definition of swag. Okay, got you. Yeah, stickers and socks, Jenkins socks. So I'm working on that. Okay. Um, the DevOps world. So as you already know, the CFP has been extended to May 25th. Uh, our Jenkins Contributor Summit at DevOps World is scheduled for September 27th. So that is still um, 
available for us. So we just need to get um, our plan. So we still have some time, but planning to come soon. Any so questions? Did, did you see the new, yeah, uh, did you see the new date, at end date for the CFP on the website? Or because uh, Jean-Marc and I saw it yesterday on a video, uh, on a live, I think, and in a meeting, but it wasn't yet available on the website. So now it's official, it's on the website, it's May 25th. I Actually, that's a great question, Bruno. I have not checked um, okay. on the website, but I know that the website is worked by a different team. So probably mm -hmm. that message hasn't gotten or the task hasn't gotten on their plate. Got it. Um, Jenkins online meetup. So localizing Jenkins with crowding enterprise that's slated for May 12th. And that is already um, on the uh, Jenkins online meetup web page and we are getting I yesterday as of yesterday I think we had about 28 um, RSVPs. Oh well, and and that one is I would expect the attendance to be less than our typicals because most online meetups are targeted at showing some feature to general Jenkins users. This one is much more how do you contribute to Jenkins? And, and that's a smaller audience than the, than the how do you use Jenkins? Right. Yeah, I was kind of surprised because I uh, wrote it on LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. And on Twitter, I got two people from Russia or maybe, you know, East, Eastern countries out of the blue that I never heard of. So I mean, oh, I'm, I will come. I would be delighted to be able to participate and ameliorate Jenkins for the translation. So... Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a subject that interests really people which are frustrated with the current state of the translation in Jenkins. And, and I, I agree with you. I think there's a lot of room for frustration there, right? Because, because it's just more comfortable for a Russian developer to see things in Russian language. Likewise for a Chinese developer or for a Korean developer. And, and yet those translations are in many cases quite weak. So, so yeah, or missing, they've got big gaps in, in not being up to date. And I think crowd in enterprise is a great step for us to find ways to make them much better. Crowd in enterprise coupled with continuous delivery of plugins has been a treat because last week there must have been five or 10 plugin changes that came in that were released automatically because someone merged a new translation. And guess what? You get a new translation, you get a new version, boom. Great. Um, so Mark, this next one, Mark to propose meetup for bise bisecting with Basil. So <laughs> right. So I've just got the action item there. Basil and I have agreed that as a developer topic, and this is developer centered, again, not user centered, but as a developer topic, highlighting how to use Git bisect to very effectively yeah. and rapidly identify where a problem was was injected into Jenkins. Uh, it's it's a it's a developer centered activity, but what Basel's detected is many people don't know some of the foundational capabilities that Git provides in order to help us identify exactly which commit created a problem. There's at least one. Uh, it has at least one audience for that. I'm I'm interested. I just know the feature by by name, use it a couple of times, but I'm interested to learn from uh, the men of the trade. Well, yeah, see, and, and, right, and and I think that's the story. Right, is that is really many many people know that there is the concept of bisect and that it exists, but we don't bring it out of our toolbox often enough to be confident with it. And yep. Basel has used it very confidently and has, has enough experience with optimizations that he can use in Jenkins specific that not just do we get a story about what is, how does Git Bisect help us, but how do you apply Git Bisect with maximum speed in the Jenkins project? Wow. Yeah, so I'll, I'll be proposing that one. It, the proposal probably won't go out till next week just because this is busy week. Mark, can I be annoying? Yes. We <laughs> we had two other topics. Oh uh, yes, and we should put those on the list too. 
Absolutely. Yeah. So let me put those on the notes. That thank you. That's right. So do you, do you need help for no, or, I need, or can I need we to help negotiate? You? I, yeah, I just okay. need to negotiate. I don't think that those are really a, a help thing. So so good question to give some background. You're muted. So you yeah, I fixed it. I pressed Alt A when I shouldn't have. Uh, additional meetups to propose. Um, accelerating Jenkins builds with Gradle Enterprise. Mm -hmm. This is this what this provides is a build caching. Yeah. And then accelerating uh, Jenkins testing, test automation with Launchable. Yeah. And what this does is AI based test selection. So wow. it's using pattern matching to to decide which tests should be executed and which tests could be ignored for any particular job. And the reason this matters is today, a Jenkins core PR, a Jenkins core pull request needs four hours of compute time to evaluate it. Actually, it's not compute, it's four hours of, of wall clock time spread across multiple computers. Uh-huh. Well, I'm interested and, in that one. And you can imagine that uh, many of those pull requests are executing tests that are unrelated to the change that is being proposed, right? You can envision that as large a code base as Jenkins is, when I submit a small change to one Java class, uh, there are many, many tests that will be executed that just aren't relevant to that, to that change. And Launchable is, is a conceptual idea of, hey, let's find the most valuable set of tests and execute them, them in preference to others that aren't as valuable. Mark, you, you gave me another argument to continue chasing you to organize these two meetups. I'm, I apologize for that, but these are great subjects. The, yeah, well, the Gradle thing, I heard about that, but... Uh, yeah, and they are really great subjects. Couldn't they be transformed into a CFP proposal for DevOps world? They, they could be, but the problem is what, what, these, what these talks are, or what these, these meetups are, is to introduce the concept and announce the experiments we want to run with Jenkins infrastructure. So we, the, the challenge is... When I talk about these things, I'm talking about hypotheticals because we haven't run the experiments yet. And what the meetups are is to announce to the community, we're going to do these experiments and then we'll share the results as we learn. And okay. Gradle Enterprise has been willing to, to support the experiments here with build caching and Kosuke Kawaguchi has expressed his interest in supporting the experiments with Launchable again in the Jenkins project. But they, they would both just be experiments as we try to see if the, the hoped for optimizations provide real performance improvements in our use case. The Gradle Enterprise one, for instance, um, there are some experts in Jenkins who have said they're not sure that that will actually provide a, a, a detectable significant benefit. And, and it, until we run the experiment, we just don't know. Okay, thank you. Anything else? All right. I think we can end the 